Hello students, in this video we'll prove Cantor's theorem that the cardinality of the power set of a set is always greater than the cardinality of the original set. So this is Cantor's theorem. And Cantor's theorem asserts that the cardinality of a set x is always strictly less than the cardinality of the power set of x. Of course, here the power set of x is just the set of all subsets of x. So p of x is the collection of all a, all subsets of s. Let's just write all subsets of s. So p is all subsets of x. Okay. And so how do we do this? Well, clearly there's an injection between x and the power set of x. If I look at the map phi, mapping x into the power set of x which by the rule that says phi of x is just the single element set x is clearly an injection is an injection from x into the power set of x okay. so it's an in, in, in injection okay now, let's suppose that there was a surjection, right? Let's suppose that psi mapping x into the power set of x is a surjection. And so what we can do is this. So we consider... this set y, and the set y is the set of all x and x, so it's a subset of x, such that x is not in psi of x. So psi of x is a subset, so I want to know when x is not in psi of x, okay? Now we know that since this psi is a surjection, so since psi is a surjection, There is an x0 in x such that psi of x0 is equal to this set y. And so now, what can we say? There's two things that can happen. So I'm going to ask the question. So here's the question. So either, so either x0 is in the subset y or x0 is not in y. Okay? Now if x is zeros in y, this implies that x is zero is not in psi of x is zero, but psi of x zero is equal to y. So the first condition says that if x zero is in y, then x zero is not in y. Not good. And over here, if x zero is not in y, then what does that say? That says that x zero is what? It's not in that set, so x0 is in what? Is in psi of x0, which is equal to y. So if x0 is not in y, then x0 is in y. In either case, we have a contradiction. Okay? In other words, the contradiction is that there's a contradiction to surjection, so there is no surjection between these sets. And so what we've shown, therefore, is we've shown that there is a, always a cardinality which is larger than a given cardinality. So, for example, we can conclude that the cardinality of the natural numbers is less than the cardinality of the power set of the natural numbers is less than the cardinality of the power set of the power set of the natural numbers and this chain goes on forever. So what this shows, this shows that there's not really a largest infinity, whereas there is in some sense a notion of a smallest infinity because every subset of a countable set that's infinite is also countable. So in some sense, countable gives us a notion of smallest infinity, but there is no notion of largest infinity because if you have a set which you claim that the largest cardinality, the power set of that set will always have a larger cardinality than that. So there's no largest infinity. There's in fact an infinite number of different infinities according to this argument. And that was one of Cantor's major contributions to mathematics. Thank you very much.